hello friends welcome to it articles so uh, today we'll see um, um, variables in css so you might have heard about the variables in other programming languages like c c plus plus java dot net php or any other programming language you are familiar with um, but today uh, we'll be doing little different that is uh, variable in css cascading style sheets so uh, generally let's ask first that why we need the variables in uh, any programming language so variables we declare or uh, in a, a program language so that we can <clears throat> use the same variables at multiple places let's say if it's a hard coded value and we are not playing with this values playing it means we are not changing this value so what is the benefit of creating these variables the benefit is so that <clears throat> we can declare a variable at one place and we can use the same variable multiple places what's the benefit benefit will be that will not be repeating this value of the variables again and again instead we will be repeating the variable names so at some place we are in need to change the value of this variable we do not need to uh, you know modify the multiple things or at multiple places what we need to do is we'll be changing the variable where we have declared we'll be changing the values then as we have used the same variable cell multiple places so the value will be refracted accordingly same we'll be doing with the css so uh, <clears throat> let's say we have uh, let's create one class assigned to uh, this uh, body will be using container and let's say we assign some background color um, background color let's say gray or have some <clears throat> little light grayish so let's have ddd we are assigning color that's mean any tax which is written We'll use this color. We have no white. Let's have some dark. That's dark magenta. Okay. Now, if we are writing anything here, let's say if we are writing hello friends, welcome to IT articles. Oops. Please do subscribe, like, and share my videos uh, we'll be using same our light server to serve this HTML page although uh, we don't have anything dynamic with this page so we can directly click um, on the HTML page that will be directly served to the web browser but uh, it's a good practice to uh, use any server <clears throat> so here I'm using the live server i have explained earlier also what is the live server and how you can install on your machines um, i'll be providing one link here so in case if you are interested you can click there and see how we can install the live server let's uh, assign some fonts also so we are using a font family we are using some okay adriel rounded empty you can see this uh, background color font color font family everything is applied here so uh, now let's create one more um, okay let's say we want to create some button and uh, I can apply or I want to apply border one pix solid with the dark magenta intentionally i use the same color which is here why so that uh, i can explain um, the use of variables here we can see the same color same um, keyword actually that is a dark magenta is used twice with the css and uh, let's say border radius and we want three peaks but and we want uh, okay that's it i guess so let's create one input 
types button we'll apply some class that's we really declared there and let's call it click me you can see this button is here let's apply some padding so vertically 10 picks horizontally 15 picks and you know every I mean browser has some default um, margin padding on these containers so let's nullify all these how we'll be explicitly declaring zero picks padding and margin also as zero picks now you can see here okay let's bring the button to the next line I'll show you something okay now it's much better you can see that we don't have enough space at top and left um, I mean it, it's just touching your edge of your browser area so uh, why and why it was not um, touching the edges earlier because now we have a padding margin as zero so we have uh, decided all the margin, padding and margin which is available by default on your know, these containers now this button looks good or has enough space inside that is padding why because we have to clear here if we want uh, enough space surrounding this container we'll be applying the same padding here now it looks good okay now the question is or a uh, thing is you can see that we are repeating this this value we are repeating this value right i mean these two places we are repeating this dark magenta two places two places when we have just two um, elements or two things uh, html elements on page that is one tax and one is button just consider that we have a very big size where we are having multiple places and number of places uh, 50 or 100 num 100 play pages and we are having uh, n number of css files we are uh, we are using the same keyword same color same let's say border size same padding or margin or uh, mm, some colors multiple places and repeated and repeat we are um, repeating these values and all of a sudden or uh, the requirements arises where we need to change all these values so it will be a little hectic for you why because we are using the same keyword multiple places so we have to look all the files all css files and we'll be replacing these values either this is color this is these values num numeric values so it will be uh, hectic for us S this is the same problem with your programming language also where let's say you want to uh, display value 10 um, in c let's say uh, 10 times so if you are writing in 10 different statements let's say so if you are writing a value 10 um, again and again again and again and if suddenly requirement arises that you need to change the value uh, 9 instead of 10 then you need to replace at 10 places because you have the 10 times now in case let's consider the same case there that if you declare a variable i is equal to 10 and if you're using a variable i 10 times and if the requirement arises to uh, make it 9 instead of 10 what you'll be doing where you are assigning the value 10 to i you will just replace or you will change it to 9 at one line only and then all 10 places and all 10 statement will display value 9 instead of 10. so the same thing or same approach will apply here but uh, how let's see so what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, creating one root node we actually this root is the um, you, you can read it here represent an element that is the root of the document in html documents in html4 this is always the html element right so what it is it's a root of your document um you can see here everything is like hierarchically so if you have anything or uh, if let's see if you have the parent of this whole content then all the child i mean it's like uh, i mean if you have declared a variable in parents the same variables can be accessed by your child but 
if you declared uh, some variable let's say uh, let's say we have a two dibs which is uh, siblings so if you declare some variables in the first sibling that can't be accessed by the second siblings so root is the actually the root of the whole document so in case if we declare the variables here that will be accessed by all the countries all the childs all the divs or all the um, html elements that we will declare or we create in this page or in our website or in our page so let's create one variable here the one thing is which we need to keep in mind is in csf variables always start with the two dashes or two hyphens so then you can give it a name so like two hyphens then we'll call it as like our primary color will assign it as a dark magenta then we can say primary padding vertically so it's a just a short form you, you you can name this uh, whatsoever you want and here i'm giving like primary padding vertically vertically we want as 10 picks and primary padding horizontally we want 15 picks you can see here vertically and horizontally so we we create two variables here now instead of this hard code really let me collapse this one so i'll hit control till sign so <clears throat> instead of this hard coded dark magenta we have declared this variables so now we'll be using this variable I'll be copying these variables and how to use this uh, declared variable using a var function and under the var we'll be passing our variable name let's do the same here we'll call the var function we'll pass this here you can see other syntax is as it is here we are creating the border one pick solid and at the place of color we are calling this var functions here for the text color we just call the var function and then we pass the variable if i hit the ash here control ash to save the css file if i go back here and you can see everything looks same there is no difference we can see the border is dark magenta and the font text is also dark magenta here that's mean this variable is used here right so if now someone asks me to change uh, some different color instead of dark magenta, how will we be changing it? We'll be just changing the color here. Or you can assign whatsoever color you have. Then we do not need to worry about, how, I mean, at how many places we have used this variable. And then you can see primary color. Let's change some primary color, which is a little visible, I think. This is not proper visible. So let's change to some dark. Oh. Let's take it to little radish shade. Red shade. If I say control S, you can see it's red. You can see, I mean, this red color is applied on the color of the container as well as the border of the button. So border of the button is some red shade and this font text is also red shade. Let's use these variables for the padding purpose also here and here. So here I'll be using variables. Then I'll be calling um, primary padding vertically. Then we'll be calling let's copy this variables here and instead of vertically we'll use have and then control s so and let's use the same here still you can see the behavior is same and it looks exactly the same that's mean now we are using this padding here and here so if someone asked me to change the ver a vertically padding to 15 and the horizontal to 25 that's done we do not need to worry about how many places we have used the variable. So this is how we can create this uh, variables and we can uh, use these variables. And uh, let's see if I'm missing anything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, one more thing. Um, we can pass some default values also. So um, in case if we if it doesn't find this variable, this where function doesn't find this variable, 
uh, declared then it will use this defaulting value so here what it will be doing is i'll be uh, let's say um, we'll say 10 or let's call it 15 as a vertically so but now this 50 doesn't make any uh, you know changes uh, this it will not make any difference if you refresh you will get as it is why because it can find this variable so in case let's say if we misspelled or let's say we have a variable but that variable is not accessible here or it's not declared then it will fall back to this default values and now it's used the vertically padding as a 50 oh yeah we need to uh, use the peaks also uh, I mean so this is as a pixels so if I hit the control s you can see now it's applied so this is the um, another parameter that we can pass it's a default value to this where function so I guess that's all for today guys thank you so much for uh, um, you know, watching my videos please do subscribe share and like my video thank you thank you so much